Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Beer Reviews with Trenny and C. I'm Trenny, this is C. Today, we have a very exciting beer. What do we well, got? We have the non-alcoholic Budweiser Prohibition Brew. Wow. Wow. Kind of doesn't make any sense they call it Prohibition Brew when <laughs> it has no alcohol in it, so it wouldn't have been prohibited. Right? Right. <laughs> then, okay, let's not do that beer. Let's do a real beer tonight. Yes. Let's do... <laughs> if this qualifies as a real beer. <laughs> Okay, this okay. this beer scares the hell out of me. Yeah, yeah, it's a little different. It's this little different. is uh, Wells Brewers uh, Banana Bread Beer at five point two percent. Cool. I don't know if you're familiar with that one at home, but we are not. We've. Never... I'm not sure if you're familiar with much banana bread beer, but hey, my son. Mm -hmm. Loves banana bread. Who and, doesn't? Um, what son doesn't? A couple of chocolate chips in there, and you know, you've got yourself uh, a delicious, hearty uh, snack. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is hearty. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, get it close to the. We have microphones here at Trinity and C. So, these days. Take a listen. When we don't forget to hook them up. Little, a little, a little bit of a. <laughs> it's like a snake venom. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. It's like a striking snake. <laughs> That's how we're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna review the sound. This beer the... opens like a striking snake. <laughs> it really does. Say that ten times fast. All right. So uh, banana bread. I I was expecting it to be dark. It does look. look a little dark. Let's glug it up for you. That's perfect. That's all I need. <laughs> That's all I'm sure I can need tonight. <laughs> um, you we've see? got ourselves some good head here. Okay. Just smell that foam though. Bananas for days on that foam. On bananas Ooh. and glue. <laughs> this is roughly a three finger head. <laughs> it, it has a bit gives of a, a shit. It's got a Jack Daniels nose. <laughs> kind of. Jack Daniels is. We Maybe. do describe Jack Daniels on our whiskey channel, Trendy and Sea Whiskey Reviews, yeah. um, as bananas and glue. Yeah. This, however, is beyond that. This yeah, is it's, it's very banana. -y. It's, yeah, no glue. This is unmistakably banana. -y. Okay, well let's let's dig color right wise, into this color one. Yeah, it's quite dark. It's yeah, nice. It's, it's a like very a, dark it's like, a, it's like a reddish, bronzy, it's amber like kind a of thing. Dirty penny kind of. Dirty penny, like a copper penny. Yep. Um, on the nose, we did say the banana. It's right up front. It's ready. It's there. The but is it? Wait, it's banana bread beer. I think, I think they've nailed it on the nose. Well, because it also has this uh, weird, uh, I shouldn't say weird, but it has this like banana cream pie kind of thing. Well, because there's the grains of the beer, right? Like, mm -hmm. It's just natural yeah. for it to have some bready elements to it. Of course. Let's drink this shit. Barley sandwich. Okay, here we go. Barley sandwich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is... Huh. That is really... Huh. Different. I, I don't know if I love it or hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm gonna say it's, okay. I don't. Okay. I actually, okay. Okay. I actually don't mind it. I don't think I could drink a lot of them because any and it, even like a, it's kind of like the same realm as like a winter ale, where it has that vanilla y kind of almost fake kind of thing going on. But it's kind of fun though. But it tastes quite nice. It's still got a nutty aftertaste. It's very um. There's very little carbonation. Maybe which because, I kind of kind of like about we, it actually. I, I poured the shit out of it. Yep. Is this um, all gone? This is, let's, uh, let's top ourselves up here. I think it is lightly carbonated, though. Yeah, it's it's. I actually kind of like it. Um, it's kind of got a creaminess, but it's it's strong, strong, strong banana. But it's also very mellow and but easy it's, drinking. It's not sickly sweet. Like, you don't want sweet yeah. in a beer. So it's still... Banana-ish. Well, it's banana, but there's no... Um, it's not specifically like a dessert-style beer. Even though it is sweet, but it's not... I wonder if there was a little bit more of a know. spice element to it, if that would... Like the nutmeg kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, make it a little bit even more mm. dynamic. A little bit it's more... Kinda, it's nice. It goes down really easy. It's, it's nice. 
I actually could this see... This is not too bad. I, it's not too bad at all. This beer scared the hell out of me before we got mm-hmm. started, and I'm actually, uh... I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Okay, so let's get serious for scale. a second, though. Yep. The scale. The scale is by none. Yeah. By one. Yeah. And by a ton. Right. Where are you on this? Okay, I'm not gonna say by none because by none is when it's shite. Right. right. Um. So I'm somewhere between by one and by a ton. Um, I was thinking that we gotta have an in between. Yeah. <laughs> by six. <laughs> <laughs> kind of takes away the rhythm of yeah. the scale. Um, but by nine, by one, by six, by a ton. <laughs> by four and a half. Yeah. And, um, yeah, you know, I Going think I'm, good. I think I'm at by one still because mm. I don't know how much banana beer I can drink. That's true. You know, like yeah, yeah. maybe from the idea of like something fun, you know, that you want to keep in your your fridge. You might buy six, but you're not going to drink them consecutively. That's a good point. So it's not a beer that you're going to crush at a party and drink a ton of them at that night. Right. So you're not going to drink a ton, you're not gonna but you might buy a ton. Yeah. yeah. Just not drink them all at once. I'm still so, going to say, because bananas, um, banana can be a unique preference for some yeah. and not for others. So... I think because of the uniqueness of that flavor and the fact that not everybody is, it doesn't appeal to everyone. Yeah. I'm going to say buy one, and you might, if you're not a banana fan, you may still be pleasantly surprised by mm-hmm. it. That's, that's, Edit. <laughs> that's, or not. Uh, that's, that's my take on it. Okay. So my take is similar, but for, we have opposite, it's opposite and for, it's completely different actually. <laughs> Just tell us what you're Okay, so basically, I'm going to say buy a ton, mm. but not because I'm going to drink a ton? it. Not because I'm going to specifically drink it. Okay. But having this in my fridge, I can guarantee you, like when you have a party or people over and there's women around that oh. don't like beer. And I, I'm not saying, oh. like, you know, they would speci- specifically I like this. I see where you're going But I think it's something different and people... It's a conversation it's piece. It's a conversation piece. People would... Like it, and they would like it and enough you to drink say, one or two. Oh, or I don't drink beer. Well, have you tried? But exactly, it's, it's a good uh, like introduction for some people into beer potentially. Hmm. And you know, huh. it's it's well balanced. It's not too bitter. It's not overpowering. It's not high percentage alcohol. They have. You could drink a lot in one night. They if have you loved it. done a banana beer well. Mm-hmm. I don't know that you could do a banana beer better than they've done it. This is true. That's. I think you're right. I think you're right. Because I've tried other, you know, there's a lot of breweries out there that put out these beers that have different flavors, like around Christmas, where it's like pumpkin sours and stuff sure, like that. yeah. And they're, to I'm not, me... I'm actually not convinced on the sour phase. These I days. have not been convinced either. I've and tried a few of them and... I bought a sour beer that was like $16. Yeah, yeah, they're not cheap. And I was like, Whoa. it's the whole process of making them too. The sours, like, if you make a sour at your brewery, it's, it has a chance of infecting your other beers with different uh, bacteria and whatnot. So it's Risk just versus reward. It's, it's yeah. I don't know. That's just that's anyway. Why, they charge why are we even talking about that? Okay. Um, Anyways, moving on. So I think uh, I would buy a ton just because it's something interesting to have in your fridge. I like people your angle. would like it. I like your angle. Yeah. Okay. So subscribe to our channel. If you haven't already, uh, we have our other channel that does whiskey reviews, Trini and C. Um, you probably found this channel from that channel, but hey, you never know. Um, and we're rambling. Yeah, we're rambling. So, cheers, guys. Thank you. Like, share. Drink beer. Yeah.